Hey guys, I'm hoping you saw my last video where I went to Idaho to visit my friend Andy. And then we went up into Montana to do some skiing at Big Sky. So this is going to be the video where I show you all the gear I took along with me along the way. But anyways, let's get right into the gear list. First of all, it wouldn't be a ski trip without some skis. These right here are the Elan TrueFlex 76s. I got them as part of a beginner package from a company called Level 9 that came with skis with the bindings on them. I'm not quite sure what bindings these are, but I'll look into it and put that in the description too. Item number one, need some skis. Item number two, we got ski poles. And on my ski pole, I have mounted an action camera mount at the bottom. Not used it yet. I'm not that confident of a skier to be holding a pole out in front of me and recording myself, but one day I'll get there. And for skiing, definitely need a good winter coat. This Under Armour winter coat I have has been doing the job for me for many years, so I'll continue to use it for now. Another piece of essential gear, snow pants. Now, I prefer bib snow pants. I got these off Amazon for pretty cheap, and they work really well for me. So they go over my shoulders and stuff, and then keep me dry when I'm out in the slopes. Okay, to round out the rest of my ski gear, I have this backpack here, which holds all my boots, helmet, and everything like that. Again, I got this off Amazon. Only used it a couple times, but it's done the job for me so far, and I like all the space it has within it. So we'll start here with the front pocket. In here, I have some winter gloves. Very nice, they have pockets here that can hold hand warmers or my keys when I'm out skiing. Then I have a pair of ski socks to wear underneath my boots. Really important, keeps me warm, padding against the ski boots as well. And I have a couple different buffs that I wear every once in a while. And then two pairs of goggles here. Now, these were pretty cheap ones off Amazon too. I probably got these for about 12 bucks, but again, they've worked for me. I have a pair for sunnier conditions that block out, I think it's like a 20% VLT. And then I have a lower light pair that I like wearing a lot, which I think are 99 VLT. That is it for the front pocket then. On top here is where I keep my helmet. Now, this was another purchase from Amazon from a company called Acaso. And I have loved this helmet, it's been great for me. It's got a strap to keep my helmet in place, vents that open and close to allow heat regulation. The inside's padded and very warm. No complaints about this. And I know helmets can get pretty expensive, but this one was only about 30 bucks and I like it a lot. Then last thing inside of this backpack, this pouch opens here on the back actually, which I really like, and has kind of a walkway that you can step on when you're changing into your boots. So. Along with that beginner ski package that gave me my skis and my poles, I got these Del Bello boots. I think it's Del Bello Prime 80, something like that. So yeah, those are my ski boots and that rounds out the rest of my ski gear for the trip. There are a few other things that I brought along as well that I'm about to show you. All right, next I have this storage bin, which goes inside my car underneath the shelf I built. Fits perfectly in there. And this is for more of the fun stuff when skiing, when you need to take a break, and you want to do some cooking, grill up some burgers and things like that. This is all of my cooking equipment that I keep here. So within this bin, um, I also use this for camping. So there's some stuff for camping, but it works for skiing as well. I have a towel for any kind of wiping anything off that I need to or cleaning up. I have a lighter to be able to light my stove. And I have a propane container that will power the stove that I'll show you in just a second. Standard salt and pepper for any kind of seasoning needs. A little olive oil to grease up the pans that I use. I have this backpacking cooking set that I kind of just use to boil water when I'm not doing a backpacking trip and cooking within it, but it's a very compact, really nice set here that is got has two different pots on the inside. There's a stove and stuff in here, another towel, another lighter. I think this is an isotane gas canister that also powers this. Yeah, isobutane and propane fuel mix. So. I have this little stove too, but I don't use it as much when I'm not backpacking. This is just in case I needed to boil water pretty quick, I'll use this too for maybe some hot cocoa or something. And then soon I'm gonna get some dishes and stuff, but for now I just have a set of paper plates in here just to hold any kind of food we make. A couple of random utensils, sporks from backpacking, a long spoon, which is in here. Roll of paper towel, a set of garbage bags. We just wanna make sure to leave no trace and pack out whatever we bring in. Then I also have two different mugs, camping outdoor mugs. So this will be great for the ski trip because I'm sure we'll make some hot cocoa or tea or something to keep us warm. And then I also have a long lighter that I bring with me too. 
And then for what I actually do the cooking on, I have, I think this is a 12 inch cast iron pan. It's done everything I needed it to so far, works great. Nice. And I have this lid that goes with it that fits perfectly on top too. So that rounds out some of the cooking gear and stuff. Now let me show you the actual stove. Then this is my standard cooking stove. It is a Coleman propane stove. So if I open it up here, so this is what it actually looks like when it's set up. This little piece, this little piece here in the middle actually comes out here and the propane attaches to it. But set my pans and pots on top of here, do any kind of cooking I need to with this, then it works great. Now, you don't really need to bring any of that cooking stuff. You just need ski stuff. But sometimes you've been skiing all morning, you just want to take a break and cook up some food, hang out for a bit, get off the slopes for just a second to power up for the rest of the afternoon. So that's why I like to bring those things along in case that's what we want to do. Grill some burgers, brats, whatever. Then I have a cooler here that I got from Walmart. It just is a pretty simple cooler. Um, not the most insulated, but it does the job, especially when you're going skiing, it's cold enough outside that you don't need the best of coolers to keep things cold. So I'll put drinks in here, the burgers, anything that needs to stay refrigerated will go inside this cooler. And then usually I'll just use some kind of canvas bag for anything that doesn't need to be refrigerated. So I have some bags of chips and some other stuff in here right now for the trip. And then lastly, I'm not gonna cover this in too much detail, but this is just well my bag that I keep all my clothes in. So anything that I need to sleep in or what I'm gonna wear underneath all of my other skiing gear will stay in here along with any other things. So, so then with all of that gear out of the way, I only have a couple more things to show you in my vehicle as well as a little bit of camera equipment. So the main camera stuff that I use is what's being recorded on right now, which is actually just my phone. I record most of my videos on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 and it's been working great for me. I'm excited to get a real camera someday, but for now my phone's been doing the job. As for recording when I am skiing, I have a, an action camera here that I use. Um, this is the Acaso V50X. I eventually want to upgrade to a GoPro, but for now this is doing the job. And along with that, I have a waterproof case that it kind of goes in because the camera itself is not waterproof. So we have that and it is currently attached to a chest mount right now. So this chest mount I'll wear when I ski. Then I also bring a couple extra batteries because it's cold out there, the battery might run out quicker. So I have some extra batteries that I keep with me so I can keep recording throughout the day. And for the end of the day, I also have a charger for those batteries too. So that is the rest of the camera equipment. Hey, this is me from a few weeks later, as you can tell by the haircut. Um, I totally forgot to show you it was in the back of my car. So I'm gonna take you there right now. So you can see I have a couple of different chairs here just things to sit on when you need a break. I have a pair of boots, which are always good for if you get stuck, but I also use them for ice fishing. And then under here, I have my table, which I will show you a video real quick, but it's nice and packs real easy. But yeah, that is everything in the back of my car. So yeah, that is all the gear I took on my day ski trip to Montana. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're curious about more of the details, I did write a blog post that contains a little more information about all of those items and some links to find some of them yourself. So check that out if you want to. I hope you guys consider subscribing, follow along my adventures for the future, and I will see you in the next video.